Hi, this is Kevin with Garrison Dental Solutions and I have a quick tip for you here today as it relates to using a scissors for your class 2 composites. Um, I have a lot of questions when doing webinars. People ask me, well, you know, gosh, the, the band is too long when I'm doing an MOD on, let's say, a premolar like this. How the bands, the ends of the bands stick out so far that they interfere with one another and make placement a little bit more challenging. Um, it's, it's just a simple matter, really, of taking a scissors and trimming off some of the excess material on the matrix bands. I think a lot of folks have a tendency to uh, be concerned about modifying the matrix bands, feeling that they're going to um, affect the performance. And really, it's, it's, it's a simple matter to make sure that the band conforms to the case that you're working on. So I'm just going to snip the ends of this off here really quick to show you how this will sit in place. Now certainly you don't want to snip off so much that you're leaving a corner of the restoration or the uh, preparation uncovered, but uh, really just a quick snip and now these things are not interfering with one another and are out of the way uh, much, much better. So quick snip is all you need to do there. Um, the same goes for if you're doing a back-to-back -back restoration. Let me grab a couple more bands. Um, if you're using the Compositite 3D Fusion matrix bands with the placement tabs and you've got a back-to-back -back situation, of course that's going to put the tabs kind of in the way, right in the middle of your uh, marginal ridge area of the two teeth that you're trying to work on. So, you know, what do you do about that? Well, same thing applies. Just take a scissors and cut the tab off the band on both sides. Let me take that one out. Of course, then you're going to have to hold, hold, the, band, hold the band by an end uh, for placement. But if you just trim that little tab off of there, uh, it's the one time where they're really kind of in the way and there's no place to go with them because you're trying to uh, do it back to back like that. You have to have a sharp scissors, a good pair of scissors, because the matrix material is so thin. So um, there we go. So we just trim that off of there. Now we can place the two bands back to back like that without having the tabs in the way of our uh, restoration. So there you go. A couple of quick tips today is uh, when you're doing your class twos, don't forget to have a scissors handy if needed.